here we are again for another episode. And this one deals with an annuity, of course. So deposits are made, this one at the end of every month, it's an account that earns 2.69% compounded quarterly. So the deposits are monthly at the end of the month. And the compounding is quarterly, so this is an example of an ordinary general annuity. Anyway, this is not the focus. Classification is not the focus here. The focus is to find the maturity value and the interest earned. Yes, interest is of lots of interest here. All right, so let us begin. So the deposit is $162, so we can put it into the payment. <clears throat> One, six, two. We can put it in negative, we are depositing. The money is leaving our possession. All right, end of every month, so we don't have to worry about anything at the end. Every month, so PY is 12, and the account is earned 2.69%, so let us insert that for IY, and it's compounded quarterly. So that means that CY is four. All right, so let's skip N. We get to, usually get the calculator to do that bit of calculation. Present value is zero, because the deposit will be made at the end of the month, all right, you, you do start off at zero, and the future value is what we will be computing. Okay, so there we are. Now we can begin and we can go to the calculator. I guess we should go to the calculator. There we are. Now we can see it properly. Okay, so PY is 12, CY is 4. To go in there, we go second. And IY, there is PY, PY is 12. You can enter it if you wish. If it's there already, you don't need to, but let's do it. And let's go up in this case to see why it is four, and we have to enter it. Now I suggest, yes, yeah, you can go down, you will get PY is equal to 12, and PY is equal to four, just to see it there. Now I can come down here and get out of there. I would have to clear it twice if I want to get rid of the last number. Now we want N and we, it's two years, six months. So my suggestion is to take the six months first, sorry. Okay, take the six months and yes, proceed and divide it by 12 to convert it into years or part of a year. In this case, it's 0.5 and then we add the two, so that is plus two, and we get 2.5, but that is just the number of years. That, to get n, we have to take the number of years and multiply by py, not cy. So that is the reason why I use the calculator to do it, because it will not make a mistake. So I go second n, and it multiplied it for me, and then I insert the value into n, and that value turns out to be 30, which was really 2.5 times 12, All right? So this 30 really, you might see some uh, uh, messages. Yes, this is not a decimal integer, but it's really 12 times uh, 2.5. Okay, that will give us the 30. So that is correct. Let's clear all of the warning there. Or warnings. So IY is 2.69, so we go 2.69. There is IY. Present value is zero, so zero goes in there. Payment is $162. We are depositing 162 negative, that's the payment. And then we compute the future value. And that turns out to be 5,020.96. All right, the interest earned, well, we have to find how much was contributed. Okay, so how much was contributed? Well, if we recall the payment, we make it positive and we multiply by what? Yes, we multiply by this value of N. So to get that value, we must recall 
in, and then we press equal, and then we get the amount contributed was $4,860. Now, it's not required as an answer here, but we need it to get to the interest. So that is the amount that was contributed. So let's make that negative. Then I can add this amount here, 5020, 5020.96, and that should give me the answer of 160.96. All right, I will submit, and that would be the answer. Now, in the event you are wondering, and I guess I should have pointed that out, you could go and you could compute the the total amount contributed. All right, so maybe in the best interest of everyone, we will go and have a blank document and we can see the interest earned is equal to the future value minus the total amount deposited. All right, so, and that is really. So the interest earned is equal to the future value, right? The total amount deposited is what? It's the payment times N, yes. That's what exactly what, what is happening. So I could say that is equal to, in this case, what was the future value? Well, the future value was the, uh, 5020.96, so I can proceed to put that in here, and then I need to subtract. So the calculation was what? For the, I recall the payment, sorry. I make it positive, and then I multiply by the, the number for N, which is 30. 4860, or I could say it's 162 times uh, 30. And then we get another number, 5020.96, okay, minus uh, whatever that number was that showed up on the calculator, 4860. Okay, 4860. All right, and then we get an answer. So I can go back here, like I did before, or if you don't like that, you could just recall the future value and then subtract 4860. And that will give us the answer 160.96, 160.96. Okay, which is the value that was entered right here. Okay, so that is it. You have done a calculation for the, what? For an ordinary general annuity where PY and CY are different. And that will be the end of this episode until you, we look or get another one.